Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about a very powerful tool that we can use in statistics called the empirical rule. So the empirical rule has to do with a particular type of distribution that has a particular type of curve. So the curve is called the normal curve, capital N normal, um, and that has to do with the normal distribution. Now we're going to study distributions quite heavily later, and specifically the normal distribution is going to be very important to us. But for now, what we're really looking at is what are some interesting things about the mean and median, so our measure of center with this particular distribution, and also the way that the data is spread out in this particular distribution. So let's take a look at some of the attributes of this distribution and then talk about what is this empirical rule. All right, so the normal curve looks like this. This is kind of, you've probably seen this somewhere in your life before. This is often called the bell curve. It's actually the normal curve. It is a symmetrical mound shape distribution. So with it being symmetrical, we have a couple things that that tells us. One, the mean, median, and mode are all equal, and they lie right here in the center, the very, very center of the distribution. So that is our mu or potentially x bar, depending on if we have a population or a sample. Because that is also the location of the median, we have symmetrical sides, each containing half of the data points. So we have 50% of our data points falling below the mean and 50% falling above the mean. The normal curve also has what is called an asymptotic tail, which means that this tail continues to go lower and lower and lower, but never actually reaches zero. So there is actually, if you can imagine, infinite area continues forever and ever and ever just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. All right, so that's the normal curve and some of its attributes. Let's look at how the empirical rule ties into that. So the empirical rule, also known as the 68, 95, 99.7 rule, says that if we are working with a normal distribution or an approximately normal distribution, then not only do we know that on either side of the mean, we have 50% of the data, we also know that from one standard deviation below to one standard deviation above the mean, so mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma, we will have 68% of our data fall in that window. I also do want to point out that because this is a symmetrical distribution, that means that 34% will be between one standard deviation below the mean and the mean and 34% will be one standard deviation from the mean and one standard deviation above. From two standard deviations below to two standard deviations above, we will find that 95% of our data lies there. And then from three standard deviations above to three standard deviations below, 99.7% of our data falls there. 99.7 is a really high value, so that tells us that almost all of our data values should fall between three standard deviations above and three standard deviations below the mean, according to the empirical rule. So we have all kinds of things that we can do with this. We're going to, in the next couple of videos, explore some examples with this. This is an important rule that we want to know. All right, catch you guys in the next one.